Hey there, join us for another family friendly vacation. In today's adventure, we visit Congo River Golf. This is an outdoor miniature golf course located in Florida. It was actually voted best in Florida and they have eight different locations. If you want an honest review and a travel vlog, stay tuned. What's up? Welcome back to Whitney Styles YouTube channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and remember likes are free. So I'm gonna start this video out with a little bit of a story time. Here I was minding my own business, filming how I be filming, trying to get all the angles, visuals, you know, full experience for my YouTube channel. So I'm just walking around, waiting for my parents to pay, and then boom, this happens. Oh, I'm just filming. I'm with them. Okay. I figured them playing on it. Let me run that clip back because I was slightly annoyed. If you pay attention, look over here to the right. There is a completely separate family at the register paying for their adventure. My family was in line waiting to pay. I know that I can't go on your golf course until after we paid. I'm not mad at her for doing her job by stopping to say, is there anything I can do to help? I didn't like the tone of her voice. I didn't like that she called me sweetheart. Like don't pet name me when you don't know me. And also if I did go on your golf course, what's the worst that could happen? I could take pictures and videos that would be free promo for your business. Like girl chill, it's just never that serious. I didn't have any golf balls in my hand. I didn't steal a golf club. Like I didn't do anything crazy. That would make her think I was about to run on that course. Literally stopped before I even got to the bridge. Just crazy. On top of that, I stopped to read the sign that says, welcome paid explorers only. If you watch my other videos, you know, reading is fundamental. So I read it. Take a deep breath, Whitney. Okay, so now my family is at the register paying and we are able to get our golf balls, a pencil to keep score, and then also our golf clubs. I do like that they had different size putters for people who are different heights. If you are considering coming here, I just want to remind you, this is for paid explorers only. So be sure to pay before you walk around, look at the facility or try to take any pictures. Now we get to cross the highly esteemed bridge. I interacted with two different employees and customer service is nothing special, but the wow factor about this place is really the design and the aesthetic. Just look, just wow. I appreciate the level of detail that I saw in everything throughout the course, but then also the landscaping is really nice too. I also like that this golf course has a theme. So the website says, follow the footsteps of Stanley and Livingstone on an African adventure through the Congo. Entering this tunnel over on the right hand side, you'll notice a sign propped up against the wall. And it says, the explorers find a cool retreat. They have these signs at various holes throughout the golf course. And I really think it just adds value to the experience and it makes it a lot more fun, especially if you have kids participating. Another thing that makes this a cool adventure is that when they gave us our scorecard, on the back side of that, there was a scavenger hunt. As you go off the 18 holes, you can also search for lost artifacts that follow the storyline. For my people who love details, just take a peek inside. So there's like a skeleton, there's some treasure, there are some tools, there's just all kind of cool stuff in here for you to appreciate if you like that type of thing. So obviously we did some golfing. From what I could remember, there were very few hole in ones. But at the same time, I was preoccupied. I'm just gonna be honest, I'm already not that coordinated. So picture me trying to hold my camera, film a vlog, pay attention so that I can go when it's actually my turn to keep the game moving at a decent pace, hold a putt, hold a golf ball, talk to my family. Um, I'm out here sweating, it's 100 plus degrees. It was just a lot going on. If you're still here watching, I wanna hear back from you. Who do you think won this game? Me, my mom, my dad, or my nephew? Let me know in the comment section below. I've been miniature golfing three or four times prior to this, so the course was challenging enough for me, but if you don't think this looks hard, they got something for you. At some of the holes, you'll find these spinners, which add additional obstacles to your game. The yellow one says, after everyone has taken their first shot, switch ball positions with any opponent. Use the wrong end of your club to hit the ball on your first shot. Play the hole normally, which is boring, but need it. After your first shot, stand anywhere on the course as an obstacle for any opponent's next shot, one shot only. After everyone has taken their first shot, switch ball positions with any opponent. I actually did that one and it helped. 
On top of everything else I was doing, I was highly engaged in this scavenger hunt. So whenever there was a cool prop or structure, I was walking up to it, looking in it, through it, around it, trying to find the things that were on the list. At the end of the experience, we turned our list in and I'm happy to share that we did find everything on the list, even though the course tried to trick us with an item or two. So that just made it more fun. Nature appreciation clip. Okay, back to golfing. As you can see, there's lots of bridges here, lots of water here, lots of trees here, very true to the Congo theme. I'm just scanning the top of the boat looking for lost artifacts for the scavenger hunt. This hole is a shipwreck, so the ground is on an incline. If you don't hit your ball hard enough, it'll roll back towards you, but if you do hit your ball hard enough, it'll go through the hole and then come out on the opposite side. We visited Congo River Golf on Saturday, August 21st, around 2.40 in the afternoon, and it was not busy at all. There was the one family in line ahead of us, and then there was one group who came after us as well. This is a very affordable vacation option. The price was $13.15 for anybody over the age of 10. The price was $11.40 for those who are nine and under. You can pay upon arrival, but if you like to plan ahead, you can also book online through their website. But if you buy the online tickets, please note that those are not refundable. So you gotta be 100% sure this is what you wanna do while you're in Florida. At the entrance, this place also had a vending machine and a store where you could buy snacks or beverages. I forgot to mention we fed the gators at this park. I can't remember how much it was, but it was no more than $5 per bag of food to feed the gators. Overall, I really enjoyed this experience and I would recommend this place to others. The only thing I would change is adding more misting stations or covered shaded areas around the course to provide some protection from the sun. The owners probably won't see this video to incorporate my recommendation. So if you plan on coming here, I definitely recommend wearing a hat, sunscreen, and sunglasses to protect yourself from the sun. Don't leave yet, the adventure is far from over. If you like family friendly vacations, be sure to check out my travel vlogs from Wild Florida, where we did a drive through safari and an airboat tour where we were able to see gators in their natural habitat. Click the card above, tap in. During the last part of the video, you'll be able to see me and my family feeding the gators. I want you to experience it with us, so the voiceover will end here, but please enjoy, subscribe, and like. You ready, brother? Yeah, hold on to it. Oh, on yeah, hold on with two hands, maybe. Ooh, good job, brother. Ooh, and I got grip. <laughs> ah, he got a grip. Grip dropping something in there. Ooh, look at him jump. He got it too low. That was quick. Oh. Look at all of them. Sure. Two hands. Yeah, Look at them. The ones in the water. You can launch it more. Look, 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 here. Sneak attack, TT. Look. I would not want to be a neighbor. Yeah, he creeping. He's alive. He's alive. Look at his tail. He's trying to creep up too. The, like, you got maybe you got a. Oh. Huh. Wait, you see you see the stuff underneath your neck? Oh, he got it. He timed it. Yeah, that's cool. There's the gators. They're alive and hungry. I might need some backup. To hold you? Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, TT. Ready? Where should I go? Anywhere you want. I'm going over here. Where's the ladder? They ain't gonna put Lawrence, they can get it. Dang, are you full? Finally. Look at me. Alright, look at that. Look at TT, you did it. Uh, two hours later. Like, it was fine. <laughs> oh, you got it. I'm gonna jump for a minute. You got it, guys. He missed it. I lost it. I'll put it just out of his reach, though. You see him shooting at Vitamin? Two of them looking. Jump for it. 
Yeah, the feet. You're gonna drop that knife. You're gonna lay him down. Mm -hmm. You're gonna spring. I gotta make sure I spring with two hands. Yeah, you might need to hold him in place, Ma. Come on, now I've been 36 seconds. Oh, I, I, I can jump right here. I want him to jump too, like like what you did the first time. Did he get it? Yep, you see jump? Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Family vacation should be fun, but educational. So I wanna encourage you to read the signs and the fun facts associated with whatever activity you may be doing. Congo River Golf also has a variation of a basketball court. So they have this hoops game in the back near the gator feeding pond. We didn't play because it was way too hot, but I just wanted you to know it's there for the sake of the review. Thank you so much for watching. More Orlando vacation videos coming. Stay tuned.